Hi greedy 3Ds now, if you know me you know I love my Aliens, one of my favourite movie franchises ever and the Aliens movie is by far the best of that franchise. Yes, up for debate if you want but that's my humble opinion and I've always been a collector of Aliens memorabilia. The Wicked Alien is out, it's printed, it's painted and I love it. I will show you the process I went through to get it to this result here. There's plenty more from the Wicked Aliens diorama to come so make sure you stay tuned to Greedy 3D. Hit the like button, hit the notification bell, subscribe to the channel, um, join the Patreon if you want to. But Above all, leave me some comments. I want to know what you guys think. Do you love aliens? Do you love aliens like me? Do you think that the model is good? Do you think it's bad? Do you think I've done it well? Do you think I could have done it better? I want to hear what you guys think. But this is my take of the Aliens Warrior from the Wicked Diorama. Stay tuned. Now, if you watched my previous video, I've tested this J.O. resin for the first ever time. It's the black resin, and I'm using it here in my Uniformation GK2, which is an absolutely outstanding printer. These are the settings that I'm using on both Uniformation and the Elegoo Saturn S. Now, I should have run a test print, but I didn't. But hey-ho, they've come out absolutely fantastically on both printers. Some time later. And some time later indeed eight hours to be precise, the first print on the GK2 is done and have a look at the quality of that. The whole combination of the file from Wicked, the resin and the printer have done their jobs remarkably well and have produced a really wonderful batch of this Alien Warrior. Now to get them off the build plate using a spatula as normal and they came off the build plate really well so that leads me to think again that all my settings are good and everything's working and the next thing I needed to do was get the supports off. Now some rumours of them being brittle, I've not come across that and I'm on my sixth kilogram of uh, J.O. now and they popped off really really well. The quality is excellent and I'm ready to move forward on the next stages. Don't forget as an Amazon affiliate I'll put links in the description where you can buy all the things you see me using today from there. Same again for the Saturn S and as you can see there this is the tail from the Alien Warrior. It all came out really really well. Now you, you've got to check the diorama from Wicked. It is just amazing. Go onto Wicked's Patreon, get yourself, uh, get yourself joined up and you can download some absolutely amazing prints. And there she is. There is the Alien Warrior and uh, all ready for assembly. Now make sure you put things together first before you glue them. Make sure they fit as good as they're going to and you might need to sand, you might need to do a little bit of pre uh, post uh, printing work on them but once you're happy a little bit of super glue is what I use I hold it in place and then I use a little bit of activator just to get it to set really really quickly you can use some five minute epoxy I just like the speed and the strength of super glue so I put this together it went together really well another great great accolade for the designers at Wicked and um, anyone who knows me knows that I am an absolute aliens fanatic and I absolutely love this model the detail the quality the accuracy to the movie absolutely perfect and there'll be more models from this aliens wicked diorama coming you can just see a little newt there sat on the uh, on the mat with them she's going to be next and then i'm going to work on some of the other ones now the base for this is humongous for the diorama that is so i'm not quite sure what i'm going to do for the base i might do the full thing or i might do my own thing but let's come back to that that'll be a bit of a surprise for you guys so once it's all been glued together and put together Together. There it is. That's it. It's done. I am chuffed with how that's looking. One of my favourite models ever. Thank you. Thank you. Wicked. Now there was a couple of gaps in there that I couldn't really sort out with sanding. So I'm going to use this technique to fill them. A little bit of the resin, the JL resin that I use, and I'm going to put some baby powder in there. Now don't worry if the baby powder goes everywhere. If nothing else, you'll smell like a baby for the rest of the day. Mix it up and you want a thick gloopy paste. You don't want it too runny, you want it nice and thick and we're going to then use that nice thick gloop to fill a couple of the join marks, the bigger join marks in it that can't be filled with a precision bottle which we're going to lose later. And once you've got it there just get a brush, an old brush and be prepared to throw this brush away and just paint it in there, get it as smooth as you can to the gap take your UV light, hold it on there and it will solidify in a matter of seconds and you can sand this down when you're finished, you can touch it up when you want to but this uh, talcum powder mixed with a little bit of resin is absolutely brilliant for filling some of the bigger gaps 
gaps perhaps that you've got there and the ones that you were uh, you can't fill with the tiny little precision bottle that you can see me using here i'll put a link in the description where you can get these precision bottles from they are fantastic i did a whole video on it make sure you check it out now once I've got that done, I took some of this paint, this matte black paint, link in the description, and I covered the whole thing over here. You can see me just covering some of the areas where I filled, but I did actually give it a complete coat of this paint all over, and it gives it a little bit of a glossy look, and it also gives it a nice, even, dark coat for you to work on. Really important to get a nice base layer. Now, taking this blue from the Army Painter, this crystal blue, I just want to give it a coating, a, a very thin layer, a sort of powdering, if you will, of this blue, just to give it a little bit of je ne sais quoi, just so it looks a little bit off black. Don't do too much, and if you do do too much, don't worry, just get a black spray and spray over it again lightly. You just want this in the background, you just want to see a little bit of it, and I'm going to do a bit more work to this alien, so if you think that looks a bit too blue, don't worry. Next thing I'm going to do is take some silver paint, and I'm going to pop it onto a dry brush, link in the description where I got these dry brushes from, and I'm going to dry brush this silver right across the alien now this silver highlighting across the alien is the magic it is the untold secret in how to do an alien and i've been an alien fan for absolutely donkey's years and i've painted a few of these in my time and i think the effect you get by putting a bit of silver highlighting on them is absolutely amazing go over the whole thing go over all the highlights go over all the nooks and all the crannies and get everything covered make sure you do the teeth nice and silver and the claws and the nails as well and that's the secret that's the ease of how we do it and just look at that there's a sneaky preview it's not the whole thing but there's a sneaky preview for you of just what this alien warrior is going to look like now we need to seal this we need to protect it so i'm just going to use some of this rust-oleum crystal clear and i'm going to give it a really good coat over i'm going to shine it up i want it to look nice and shiny he's almost got a wet look as the older alien warrior and that's what i want to get here but i also want to seal all that work in so it doesn't come off and it doesn't rub off so get a good coating of your favorite lacquer on there a good uh, clear lacquer though make sure it's a shiny one you don't want to mat it up you want it nice and shiny and sticking out and the next thing we're going to do when we're happy that all of our work is sealed i'm going to add some drool coming out of uh, old alien's face here and the way we do the drool is we use some of this stuff and this is just UV resin. You might see me use this on Iceman. I'm going to use it today as it was intended on the alien for the draw. Literally, UV in hand, get some drips on him, and just wait for it to start to run. And as soon as it starts to run, get the UV on. It takes a bit of practice, takes a little bit of luck, a little bit of skill, and you'll get some fantastic drips, and they'll just look like slobber. They'll look like alien saliva, and I'm really, really pleased with how it looks. There you go. Get it quick before it goes away. Yeah, we got it. So there you go, and that's how you add draw. So I'll do a couple more across his face. Do you see what I mean when I say paint the teeth silver? I've just dry brushed those teeth. That's all you need to do, and they're done. And again, more sort of uh, snotty, glutinous resin going on his face there, giving it the good old runs, giving it the good old uh, saliva that we want and that's the last step for the alien hope you've enjoyed this don't forget to subscribe to the channel i'm not sure what i'm going to do for the base yet we'll come back to that have a look at the patreon scheme as well we do have a patreon all the information will be in the description and if you want to buy any of this stuff that you see today you can get that from the description too and a little bit will kick back to the channel and just let me carry on doing what i'm doing so uh, there we go there's the draw on hope you've enjoyed today more coming from the aliens diorama and i'll see you real real soon on greedy 3d Ooh.